Well, hey there, YouTubers. Good morning. Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday afternoon, November 1st, 2020. Well, if you all noticed yesterday, I shot a short video of winterizing my MTD push mower where I emptied all the gas out of the gas tank and uh, then hooked it back up empty hoped that there was enough fuel left in the primer bowl or the uh, float bowl to be able to start up the push mower and run the engine to suck all the gas out of the float bowl but I never did get it started and the reason why I think is because when I pulled the hose off the gas tank it flopped down and you can probably see in that video that there was a gas stain where all the gas ran out of the hose but that doesn't necessarily mean that all the gas is out of the float bowl and even though I hooked the ball back up and pushed the primer bowl primer bulb to force any gas in the float bowl up into the carburetor it didn't start but again that doesn't mean that all the gas is out of the float bowl so today's project in continuing and making sure I winterize this push mower correctly is to take this air cleaner assembly completely off so I can access the drain bolt hole uh, in the float bowl to make sure that we got all the gas out of the float bowl so as you can see I've already taken the outside cover off which I broke two of the tabs so it's usually duct taped on and I removed what's left of the air filter not much there but some is better than none so let's get to taking this air filter cover off use our handy dandy quarter inch drive 10 millimeter socket got two nuts in here and one bolt over here little chilly out here this morning yesterday it got up to be about mid 60s that was nice of course as soon as the afternoon sun went down it started to cool down so it was a a nice cool temperature for Halloween I never get any kids anymore all the kids I used to know all grew up and they're adults now and have moved away so we got the two nuts and the bolt off pull that out off the studs got to remove this little hose here not a big problem we'll swing this out of the way so let me come over here and zoom you in all right <coughs> right here is the bolt that needs to come out it's in the bottom side of the float bowl and that's a drain hole right there so let's crack that loose and take that out see if there's any gas down in there we'll just let that run out well there was a little bit see I'm gonna get my nuts and my bolt out of the gas I'm going to tip this up a little bit just to make sure that all the gas is out of that garbage trader. And it now is. So now I can rest assured that there is no gas left in the flow bowl. And that's not going to hopefully not gum up the passages in the carburetor. So I'm going to thread this back in. Put a little snugness on that. There we go. Now I can bring this back around, hook that hose back up. 
That's just a breather hose, crankcase breather hose. We'll worm that back onto the studs on the carburetor. Put this bolt back in. Now you remember the drill here. Start them all before you tighten one. So we'll get everything into place here. And uh, this fancy ratchet, whoops, is a double-headed stubby ratchet from Harbor Freight. This one has three-eighths on one side and quarter-inch on the other side, which comes in handy because then you can use the opposite side to kind of screw things on a little bit faster. get them all down there snug and then I'll tighten them up. That's nice. Nice. And that's nice. So there we have it. I'm gonna have to go in and get some fresh duct tape. But I'll put what's left of my air filter on there just so I don't lose it because well some is better than none and I'll position this on I only got one tab left that'll hold that there and there we have it now I'm rest assured that I've got that float bowl completely empty of gas and this push mower is now completely winterized and ready, ready for winter storage. As always, folks, thanks for watching and commenting.